This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group. And, you know, what a move we're seeing today after Trump's speech last night. Very hawkish tone for the marketplace, which obviously uh, everyone liked. You know, we're seeing the defense stocks, materials really, really taking off today on, on much of his rhetoric last night. But, you know what, let's take it all with a grain of salt. Very low volume, summer volume here. Um, looking at, you know, the equities here in the S&P market, last week a very busy Thursday and Friday with the way the market was, with where volatility was. Now we're seeing volatility down back almost to levels that we saw weeks ago and quite frankly for the entire summer here. Very, very light trade, very light volume today. What's going to be very interesting is now we, we see the S&P market right at and just above the 50-day moving average of 24.50. Is it going to hold there? Or are we going to come back below here? It's going to be very interesting to see what happens from this point moving forward. Now, yesterday's e-mini option activity, about 500,000 contracts traded. The most contracts traded were in the, the September expiration classes, the 2,500 calls. And then on the downside, we saw lots of trade in the 2,300 and the 2,250 puts. Closer and closer we get to that expiration cycle, the more we're going to see closing out of positions, entering some new positions here. We'll see what happens. But again, that 2,450 pivot mark on the S&P, it's going to be very interesting to see if that can hold here. So what's in store next here, right? With 2,450 now behind us, just below in the 50-day here, the market is now expecting about a $20 move between now and the end of the week today. That's what the E-mini options are, are you know, showing us here. So if we get that move to the upside, we're back, you know, not, not all the way towards new highs, but on its way there. Back to the downside put us right where we were, you know, pretty much at the end of last week. We'll have to see what happens. And again, what's the next move here? Well, the rest of this week here, all focus is going to be on the Fed and Jackson Hole and what is going to come out of the Fed news this week. Are they going to start scaling back the balance sheets here, which is a precursor maybe to the rate rise in December? Or is the very tepid inflation data that we've had really going to maybe put some reins on that and hold off any sort of rate increase? We'll have to see here. Hopefully we get some bigger volume coming in end of the week, maybe a little bit more volatility with the news out of Jackson Hole. This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group.